Today we take on all Bowser minigames in Mario Party 10 on Master Difficulty without taking any damage. This challenge is crazy, and I hope you enjoy this video. All right, Bowser wants to drop down on us with a big ground pound attack. And what we are going to have to do is try to not be on the platform that he drops down on. Let's see. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. I was kind of scared. We are all over on the right, and on the last second, we jumped back over. Okay, so this isn't going to be Mario wins by doing absolutely nothing. Ah, oh, poor Luigi. Luigi gets squished. Speaking of doing absolutely nothing, there's Luigi getting squished. Final round, let's go. See, where is he going? Ah, and Spike gets squished also. So Peach and I were the only ones that weren't squished. In that last round, I did nothing. I didn't move. That's very nice. All right, so only Spike and Luigi got squished once here. So that means that they lose two hearts each. Peach loses zero, Mario loses zero. Okay, this is one that I'm very scared to attempt to do damage list. This might be one of the hardest ones because it is entirely luck-based, not skill-based. So I think this strategy is... Wait, did I pick that one? Okay, good, good, good. Okay, I picked this one. So as long as Bowser doesn't roll cheap cheeps, we win damage list, but if he rolls cheap cheeps, then we take damage. I think this is the best strategy for trying to do this boss damage list, or sorry, this mini game damage list, is you want to find a card where the entire outside is just all one creature. In this case, it's all cheap cheeps. So as long as he doesn't roll cheap cheeps, I don't take any damage. Oh, I guess the one that Spike has is pretty good too. As long as uh, he doesn't roll Goombas, then Spike doesn't take any damage. That's pretty good. Kind of funny, two rolls so far, no one's taken any damage yet. Just don't roll cheap cheeps and I'm happy. Koopas, all right, all right. Whoa, Luigi is eliminated. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize Luigi had so many Koopas there. Uh-oh, two more rolls for Bowser. Don't get cheap cheeps, please. Don't get cheap cheeps, please. Koopas again, very nice. One more roll to go. One more roll to go. So far, no one has taken any damage except for Luigi, who's completely eliminated. If he rolls Koopas or bob Alms or Urchins again, that would be amazing. And, oh my goodness! I can't believe we actually got this on the first try. I actually can't believe it. That is hilarious. Luigi loses by doing absolutely nothing. He's the only one that is out. He has six fireballs rained down on him, but no one else takes any damage at all. Poor Luigi. I actually can't believe that we got that lucky. I thought that I would be spending all day doing this minigame specifically for this video, but we actually got it on the first try. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Master difficulty Bowser, let's see. How well we can avoid his flames. This is a bit of a scary one. Let's see if we can do better this time. I think staying at the back is a good idea because then you have more time to react. Don't come here, Bowser. Don't come here. Just keep shooting to the left. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. And. And. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. I didn't take any damage. Peach got hit once. That's so sad. Princess Peach always in last place. So sad, Princess Peach. Look how happy Spike looks. Spike is so happy here. Okay, I don't think this one should be too difficult. I think it should be actually pretty easy to avoid all of these. Yeah, all you have to do is be careful to avoid the Bowser icons and then the bombs fall over there. Oh, I'm actually surprised that he didn't place uh, three right next to each other. Let's see. Okay, and there we go. Yeah, so nobody gets hit that time. I would have thought that on Master Difficulty, he would place three right next to each other. Because that seems like it would be the best strategy, because then that way you're like... Oh, and again he's doing this strategy. I'm kind of surprised. Actually, very surprised. Let's see, and we're safe up here. Luigi is eliminated. Oh my goodness, poor Luigi. Okay, final round. Let's go. What's he gonna do? What does he do? Again! I'm so surprised that he's not doing uh, three right next to each other. Yeah, so we took no damage. Oh, and Spike is eliminated. Oh my goodness. Wow, Bowser did well there. Good thing that we didn't get hit though. All right, just Mario and Peach survived, but we both didn't take any damage. Spike and Luigi are both eliminated. I don't know how difficult this one will be. I don't know if this one will be possible. Maybe we'd have to get very lucky because Bowser can spin very, very quickly in this one. 
Let's see, where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? Let's just try and stay behind him the whole time. Wherever he is, we'll try and stay directly behind him so that he won't be coming for us. Let's see, let's see. Go this way now, go this way now. Just stay behind him. Stay behind him, stay behind him. Go, 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 go. No, go the other way, go the other way. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We got it first try. We got it first try. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I thought this would be one of the hardest ones. I guess staying behind him is a good strategy. Okay, Bowser's pain ball. This is a pin on Bowser's pinball. And this is one that I'm a little scared of. Oh, I somehow avoided that one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. When they bounce off of those things, it's scary whenever that happens. Wait, wait, wait. What if we just stay up at this top part? Might be hard to get hit at this top part. I think this might be the way to go. I think this is the way to play. Oh man, this is the farthest I've been yet. And I've gotten hit so many times. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm actually so nervous right now. I'm actually so nervous right now because this is incredibly tough to do damage. We finally got it. Okay. So I guess that's the strategy. You want to go up to that top part there. I think it's hardest to get hit at that top part in the center right there. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. That might have been the toughest one yet. Only Spike and I didn't get hit. Luigi lost one. Peach lost two. Okay, Bowser's Fireball Fury has to be one of my favorite minigames in this game. Because it's super fun whether you're playing as Bowser or whether you're playing as someone on the team of four. Okay, who are you heading for first, bro? Okay, like that, that's fine, I can jump over that. I can't jump over that, I can. I can and I did, I'm staying here. Staying here, just go for those guys, go for those guys. Just leave me be, leave me safe here. Whoa! Yes, we might survive, we might survive, we might, we might, we might, we might, we might, we might, we did, we did. Nobody took damage at all, I can't believe it. Oh my goodness, I was at this one for so long. Oh my goodness. This one was so much harder than I thought it would be. Bowser can do some very sneaky things here. Okay, and this is the one that I was actually most afraid of. On easy difficulty, not only is it hard to do without taking damage, it's hard to do this without getting out. On easy difficulty. Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we did it first try. We did it first try, nobody took any damage and I was terrified of this one. I thought this would be the hardest one. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it, I can't believe it. I actually can't believe that we got that first try. That is unbelievable. All right, time for some Bowser Sinister slots. This one might not be too bad if we get lucky. All right, hopefully we don't have a lot of Mario bullets. Nice, none are coming for me to start. Okay, one coming for Mario. So let's go like that. Nice, avoided that one. Okay, no more Marios. No more Marios. No more Marios. That's enough Marios. Okay, one more Mario. Let's go like that. Nice, avoided another one. Okay, one more Mario. That's fine. Let's just avoid it. And avoid that other one. Oh my goodness, one more Mario. One coming from the center over here. And avoided that one. Very nice. Okay, Peach, get away from me. Get away from me, everybody. No grouping together. Stop it, everybody. Just a few seconds to go. Just a few seconds. All beach, all beach. Yes! Yes, we did it. We did it. Oh, man. This one was surprisingly the hardest minigame by far. With a Wiimote, it is almost impossible to alternatively mash the A and 2 buttons quickly because of how far apart the buttons were. Bro! Bro, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. So I tried remapping the buttons on a normal controller. And even if you use the turbo function on a controller to automatically mash the buttons for you, this is what happens. You go seriously slow because the buttons are being pressed together, not alternatively. So it's actually better to just mash the controller yourself. The best strategy that I can think of is getting a friend to help you with the power of friendship, where your friend double thumb mashes one button and you double thumb mash the other button. So with the help of my friend ZXView, I was able to do this. Come on. Come on. Oh. Thank you so much for watching. You might enjoy my video where we play through every board as Bowser in Mario Party 10. I hope you have an amazing day and take care, everybody.